look at this, okay. Got a kind of a, a funky, weird looking lesion here. It's, it's papillomatous on the surface. It's ulcerated a little bit. And it's got these kind of uh, clefting spaces pushing down that have little islands floating in them. So what's this? Yeah, this is scap, syringocystadenoma papilliferum. That's why we call it scap, because it's too long to say all the time. And so the low power is you've got papillomatous and or ulcerated surface, these kind of branching dilated duct spaces that push down into the dermis, and then papillae in the duct spaces. And for those of you who are, are more junior residents, papillae mean finger-shaped structures, okay? Like this thing is kind of finger-shaped. See, it goes up and down, but these are also finger shaped, just cut in cross section. You can't see where they connect. So floating islands that are lined on the outside by epithelium sitting in a space, that's papillary, okay? And I mean, if you're a senior resident, you already know this, but junior people, that's I think an important take home. And if you look at the lining, the lining is made of a double layer of cuboidal to columnar lining. The inner um, apical cell layer tends to be more columnar. It may have little apocrine snouts on the top, the top those little nubs of pink cytoplasm. The, the basal layer tends to be like a myoepithelial layer and more small and round and cuboidal. But this is analogous to sweat ducts. The only place you really see double cuboidal to columnar epithelium is salivary ducts and sweat ducts, okay? So when you see this, it's a strong indication you're dealing with some sort of a sweat gland tumor. And look at all of this inflammation packed in the middle here. What are these cells mostly? Plasma cells. Oh yeah, it's loads of plasma cells in this, in this lesion. And if you find this on the scalp, what's a good chance that you'll find if you look around in the uh, periphery? Nevis sebaceous of Yodison, that's right. So nevis sebaceous is, is like a fertile ground to give rise to all these weird adnexal tumors, scat being one of the most common ones. I've got a YouTube video about this entity. If you're, if you're real bored, you can check that out. So I, yeah, I put videos of pathology stuff on YouTube for any of you guys who don't know. So um, eventually I'll cover all the entities and then I'll retire. But until then, I probably better keep working. All right.